hello everyone today in this video you're going to learn how to transfer your domain from ionos registrar to another registrar so it can be namecheap hostinger or any other registrar that you have before we're able to transfer the domain we're going to do about three things and the first one is we need to deactivate the private registration from ionos the second thing is we have to deactivate the site lock and the final step we need to get the auth key that will be required from the other registrar so without further ado let's get started welcome back before we start anything we need to log in to ionos.com yes go to sign in enter your details from the dashboard go to menu and click domain and ssl uh, scroll down and look for renewal and transfer now as you can see domain transfer log so you can see this is actually enabled so you cannot be able to transfer when this is enabled also you cannot be able to deactivate the transfer log when we have not deactivated the private registration so what you're going to do first is click on privacy and contact details and come to this button and turn it off this will take some time you have to wait a little bit until this is deactivated so you actually have to wait if you come here you see it's updating so give it some time before this is completely deactivated so it's done you can see this is off now go ahead to renewal and transfer now from this just turn this off just like the other option you also have to wait for some few minutes before it's completely deactivated so as you can see now it's off we have deactivated this we have also deactivated the private registration the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, get the authorization code which you're going to click here show and as you can see it is here this code you will need it for all those registrars that will need the authorization code to be entered i want to try this with about two registrars the first one is namecheap and the other one is hostinger there are many of them out there but the procedure is always the same so now as you can see i'm going to namecheap and click on transfer i enter my domain and click transfer as you can see congratulations your domain is eligible for transfer because we have deactivated the site lock from ionos now you're going to enter the authorization code here and uh, you're going to check this after that you're going to click add to cart you're going to be charged about 9.78 dollars for this now let's go to hostinger hostinger has the same you go to domain and from here you're going to see transfer it now let me enter the same domain you can see the difference hostinger shows the registrar and the registrar lock is unlocked so just going to click transfer it the difference here is hostinger does not ask for the authorization code immediately so the first thing we need to create a profile in case you don't have like me so let me create my profile so for this tutorial i'm going to use hostinger because it's one of the registrars that have shown a very good uptime and many other services are cheap so in case you also need hostinger kindly check in the description because i'll put a link there you get a very big discount out of it by the way if you need a very cheap web hosting i have brought great news for you here as you can see this is a five dollars for a full year and you'll be able to get all the specs you see here you can also see six dollars only for a full year and you can also see the seven dollars for a full year and at the same time you can also have a cloud hosting with everything unlimited at only 12 dollars for your first year and 48 to 72 so in case you want this kindly go to bentex.com word flash host fee now i have already created my profile with hostinger using my google account now i'm going to the next step as you can see i'm going to use a credit card and i'm going to fill in these details so i'm going to pay about eight dollars and one good thing with hostinger domain private protection is completely free unlike other registrars let's go ahead and fill in these details my name on the card the card number expired date and the 
CVC. After that, you're going to submit secure payment. So once the payment is complete, you're going to press this button setup. Now you're going to fill in your primary details uh, for like a country, go to the next page and uh, fill in all the necessary information. It varies from different uh, hostings, uh, but this part I'm going to speed up so that we move to the next part. So at this stage, you can see the domain transfer has started. This may take between five to seven days. So you have to be very patient because the other register, actually IONOS has to approve the transfer. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe because I'll be bringing more videos on how to design custom templates and custom posts. That will be the next episodes that I'll be holding from this channel. In case you so want to learn more about them, please subscribe so that you'll be part of that process. Thank you. Bye.